Never come across Shay, Darren and Danny G. Yeah. Because Danny, I know Danny well. Yeah. Right? And, you know, I've never met Darren. Um, but I knew Danny it was a handful as a young kid. Cause, yeah. You know, and he was in Walton when I was there. And he was like starred up. Yeah. So he came in when he was 20. Yeah. Um, and that was, um, I'll tell you when that was, that was in 2003. Because he ended up in the Cat A estate, I think, didn't he? He did, he ended up getting I'm, an I, I, he got an IPP. Yeah, that's now, it. I don't know what happened, because I, obviously, I, you know, I'd been released from prison, I'd, I'd got my shit together. Yeah. I got myself into a recovery programme, I left the country for three months, which turned into a five-year journey yeah. of fucking ups and downs again, because I never dealt with what was going on here. Mm. And in all that time, obviously life goes on back home, people still... Are in and out of of that jungle called yeah. prison. Um, you know, when I heard he got a, an IPP, I don't really know where he is, what he's up to. And I often think, you know, because you're there, his name getting shouted about on YouTube and, his, you know, his brother's quite um, active. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which, you know, he, he's doing what he's doing and, you know, he's getting a message out, whether it's, yeah. it's ambivalence or not, it's still there. Yeah, yeah. So, what was, did you ever have any experience with that? With Danny, I he, I he landed, so I was in charge of the block, the seg at Manchester. So you can imagine Cat A prison, Cat A prisoners, some of them, like you say, IP prisoners, did, and I'm sorry for all my swearing things, mm. IP pre prisoners did not give a fuck because they weren't. So just, just, I don't know if you've explained this before, indeterminate public pre- protection prisoner mm. so this was from do you remember the old three strikes and you're out yeah it replaced that didn't yeah. it effectively but instead of like keeping you for a specified amount of time basically said until you've reduced your risk you're staying in prison for life now some of these 99 years some of these hadn't committed murder hadn't committed rape hadn't committed you know uh, offenses against a person even and yet because they'd committed several serious offences but the problem was the prisons were not giving them the opportunity to rehabilitate so if you say you're um not you personally but you know say one someone is in for domestic violence they do do courses for domestic violence but the waiting list is five years long well how pissed off are you going to be if you're thinking i need to get out but I've got to wait five years just to get on a course and then another two years before I get a parole review and then I might get knocked back. So we were rammed with IPP prisoners who did not give a fuck because they thought, I ain't getting out anyway, so it doesn't matter. So we always had our hands full on the seg Um, and Danny came on the seg and it was like, now I knew some girls back in style that had known Danny and I didn't, I wasn't given a very, oops, sorry, I wasn't given a very good impression of him, but we're talking Danny, Danny years ago. Yeah. I'd never met him, obviously. I'd heard his reputation. I'd heard that he could rip apart a cell in 30 seconds. I've heard that, you know, that you'd have 12 staff taking him on and et cetera, et cetera. So I was dreading it. I was thinking, that's, <laughs> that's, this is my seg. This is like, and even though we had like bad times, I like to think again, I had a really good bunch of staff. I'd go around and see the prisoners every single day. Um, and it, it, it was just, yeah, it was, it was a good, a good environment despite the challenging prisoners. And when they said, oh, Danny G's gone, I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. Because I was like, you know yourself, once someone's smashed up a seg cell, it's out of use. Yeah. Well, where do you put someone who's kicking off then if they're up on the wing? It, it, it's just a nightmare. It's like playing chess. So I was expecting hell on earth. And um, we ended up getting on really well. And we ended up having a sort See, of... Sometimes the name comes before. Yeah, yeah. And it's like people would say, did you work with Bronson? Did you do this? Did you do that? And I was like, no, I never did that. Um, and it's people think that these people, are they have this monstrous reputation yeah, and they think yeah. they're going to be monsters inside when actually some they're not. Um, and did you get on well with them? Yeah. yeah, I mean, he was always trying to get on over on me, but I was too, too, <laughs> like, yeah, it was like the phone calls and the, the clothes yeah. and the, can I have this and can I have that? And the, and the problem is, well, the problem for me, when you're on the SEG, every SEG prisoner has to see a governor every single day. And that's so we can check that yeah. they haven't been battered, given for, you know, that they've been given food, given water, that everything in the cell's working, have they got any issues? But what it does is it gives the prisoner an excuse then to bypass the staff, 
not give the staff chance to sort out the problem. So if the light's not working, for example, a prison officer can sort that out. Do you mm. know what I mean? Don't need a governor to make a phone call to someone to say, can you come sort a light out? Yeah. But Danny would always make a beeline for me. And then when other governors went down, he'd be like, I've spoken to Miss Daglish, and because people knew I was a bit of a softy, I would never give anyone more than they were entitled to, but I am, I, 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 you know. You're approachable. Yeah. yeah. And I, and you, get I, that, you get them officers that are approachable. And, I, and I'd stand and chat to, I found like just chatting to him about yeah. just day-to-day stuff. So I was going quite well with him and cross fingers or fortunately, touch wood, he never, he never damaged my cell and he was never, he was never wrapped up or restrained or anything.